Hello and welcome back. So last example we have seen a product item and now it's uh, it's time to take a next level of this example that is shopping cart which contains same setup but only thing is multiple items will be there. Okay. Uh, so what my plan is I go to app I'll come in this guy. It is um, uh, empty. Now I'll create a fresh component. A new javascript let's say something called shopping cart dot jsx okay you need to have a snippet you can copy the existing snippet you change the name to shopping cart replace all done and the next step you have to connect it to app shopping cart now you get the shopping cart i need to have a design first design same as uh, um product item so can i have a copy of this division i'll paste uh, here so let's only thing is shopping uh, cart okay and below that one table so can i have a, a complete division and i'll uh, paste it below but only thing you don't need to have this table row comment it okay yeah fine so design is ready and let's have a data previously what happened you have a one product now you have multiple products so how you initialize them let an array is equal to use state hook in this multiple products so first let's take a state and set state okay here uh, i'll say products with an array in that first product what was the first product i'll take this guy object copy oh so i have a first product so like that i need to have a multiple products uh two three four five five products so this is two this is three this is four and this is five five products okay you can change the name mi watch uh, samsung watch sum 1200 mm, this is apple watch sum 1800 uh, this is oppo watch sum 1300 and this is how many lg watch some 1900 and this is uh why only now one two three four five six are there okay okay fine fine okay and what about the images you have to change right so for example i back here i just bring it copy image address i have here something something bigger images also sometimes oh huge image address this is little small and this one okay so now i have all this products data i don't want to write always products products state dot products i can uh, destructure it let something is equal to state uh, what i am destructuring is my products okay now this products i want to display here how you display you don't need to write always product of zero dot serial number product of zero dot name like that uh, we have a looping uh, you can use the looping concept what is looping is by using a map function you can loop it okay instead of writing everywhere um, uh, how you loop the things is products is an array right how to loop is i'll tell you you write an expression here in that products dot map okay so this will 
take one function inside it will give you each product okay so that product you can display however you want so it will return an expression in that you will write your source code this is my table row is my source code i'll copy or else i'll cut it the table row i'll paste here okay and i don't have uh, functions like this okay very simple you just take a expression because i'm going to write a javascript code so it must be an ex expression products dot map so map is a regular uh, javascript arrays function so it it will loop through all the array and it will give you a particular item of the uh, array that is product you can give any name and that will return the jsx so loop through the array and display however you want so what happens now see all the numbers all the products and all the items exactly has been display and remember we only written one table row but still all these items has come okay that that's how uh, map function you write for looping okay and then um okay and one important thing you have to understand is you will get some error in console each child in the list should have a unique key property uh, what is this is whenever you write a looping concept every first element should have some unique key to identify the a unique item in the list so it means you just have to give a key property as unique uh, what is unique serial number is unique you must provide a key property always remember whenever you write a looping concept you must provide a key property that should have some unique number which helps react js to identify the unique rows in the table okay unique element in the array so now this time you don't have a, i guess i'll refresh yeah no error and these warnings you can ignore okay fine now i have a setup ready now click on a plus symbol to increment only this particular quantity how you do see previously we have hardly one item so you increment only that item now here what you increment the particular item how you get particular item you must pass the id depend on id i'll increment correct you have an array of content particular item you want to update based on id you filter and update so click on plus symbol um here yeah. on click is equal to um first i create a function and then i'll call okay yeah let's create a function for in let increment quantity is equal to a function so this function must take the product id because with our product id you you can't you can't find out the particular item to update okay so here i have to filter all this to pick up the particular one so what you do you say let items is equal to um how to loop it state or just say directly products because i have destructured them right products dot filter filter where you get the each product then i have to um instead of filter you can use a map function i guess yeah you can use a map function so it will return yeah you may write a check condition if product dot serial number is is equal to my product id so i'm just looping through all the products where when i receive a product with matching serial number then i return that particular product where incremented the quantity so product dot uh, quantity plus 1 So I'm just checking uh, in the entire array which is the product matching with my product ID. If it is matching, then I returns a new quantity of the product, same product only, which is matching one, and its quantity is updated. 
if not then return the product object as it is okay find you get all the items which is having incremented one now this items I want to update to my this products array so how you do now I say set state set state in this uh, you have a function right like this you have access to state so products products will be an array what is that array is dot 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 my items simple instead of writing this entire source code here I have made it like this these all items incremented one I cap I capture and add it here this is for filtering it this is for setting the state okay let me write like this filter the data for updating quantity and this is for update the state with new data okay I, I guess you know this one a simple uh, array operation yeah I have a function ready and let's call it how you call a function with parameter you know so um, uh, here on click on click you have a function like this increment quantity where product dot serial number that's all okay function with parameter so now check particular first one incrementing see only first one is incrementing next second one third one fourth one fifth one right like that and what about decrement decrement same story you have to copy this and paste it let's say decrement only thing is you say minus one but one problem is less than zero so product dot quantity minus one otherwise one same condition which we given last time the product item and same items you update here okay and I have to call where to call here on click a function call where decrement quantity of product dot serial number that's it now check refresh so plus is working minus is working for the particular one okay but one last thing is what about uh, total what, total of all these guys you can loop through the array and you can display a total uh, first of all what I do is uh, in this I write another row another row let's say a table data let's say grand total and this to be somewhere here 1 2 3 4 5 uh, let's say call span of uh, 5 okay text at the end okay and or else you do one thing instead of doing this entire story you may take TD with some call span of uh, 4 and this is actually not required yeah now happy and this side you want data so I need uh, another TD for uh, data some blah 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 some number okay so how I calculate this uh, you may create a function for calculation I guess it will be let's grand total is equal to a function yeah what it does is it will loop through the items and add up so let total is equal to 0 so I write for let's product of products from the destructuring so total plus is equal to uh, product 
dot price into product dot quantity okay and finally return the total that's all and you have to call this grand total wherever you want it so let's call expression grand total function you call so now check you get so ending it should increment so incrementing the particular this item is incrementing and this is here also here also here also and here also and decrementing also working should not go less than one okay that's fine so now you have made this and lastly if you want to have this looks like a real uh, currency uh, you may write like this for example price right dot two fixed of two so it's two fixed fraction of digits like that and here also you can make a fraction of digits dot uh, do fixed of two fraction digits and this guy also you can say dot two fixed of two two fraction digits so it looks like a real money okay um that's fine if you want to have a rupee symbol you can make it for example um, here ampersand uh, um, which one ampersand hash i think eight three double seven semicolon yes rupee symbol so same thing you make it for all okay looks good so this will become your shopping cart application so simple we have started with event handling and we came up to the a shopping cart example so let's meet in the next video and we'll see the uh, form handling like how forms can be uh, handled with a state like two-way data binding and all we'll see let's meet in the next video thank you